Good morning, everybody. It's David Wildstein at the New Jersey Globe. I'm speaking with Congressman Tom Malinowski of New Jersey's uh, Fighting Seventh District. Uh, uh, you know, a, a a one of the one of the closely watched races in the country. Congressman, how how are you doing? How's how's what have you been up to today? Uh, great. Uh, obviously, I voted. Um, mm-hmm. I got my sticker kind of in the sun there, or uh-huh. there it is. Uh, and so voted at my uh, precinct in East Amwell. We've been launching canvases, uh, lit drops, all the stuff that you do on election day. Uh, today, I've got a bunch of folks coming into the campaign office in a few minutes who are going to go out and knock on some last minute doors. And um, I'm gonna, we're going to end up uh, in Union County. I'll be at train stations greeting commuters. Uh, reminding them of what they probably don't need to be reminded of at this point. And then we'll see. Yeah. And this is, this is always the challenge, right? Which is, is people, people need to know that there's an election and then they need to remember, you know, you, you, you know, you and I, and everybody, we all know, you know, we're, we're living in this bubble where we have been all consumed by this. Uh, but not everybody is not everybody, not everybody wakes up this morning and goes, this is election day and this is important. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I was out talking to people yesterday all over the district. And, you know, I met a handful of people um, in a variety of places who are like, yeah, I I don't know if I'm going to vote. And I'm glad I talked to them because I think they're voting now. Yeah. But do the math. Uh, The the good thing and one, one reason I am optimistic, despite obviously knowing this is a very close race that could go either way, it, it, we we have a amazing get out the vote operation. Um, we've had more volunteers knocking on more doors over the last five or six weeks than any Democratic campaign for the House in the country. Um, the DCCC keeps track of that for us, and we've been the champs uh, weekend after weekend after weekend. So we've had those personal conversations with a huge number of voters mm-hmm. in the last few weeks, and I think. You know that makes a difference, and you, you're. I mean, this is this is your third race. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I I think you you woke up the first time. You know, you know, cautiously optimistic, but you were running against a a, a popular incumbent in a year that was was better. Uh, last time it was close. What's what do you need to what do you need to see today in terms of of turnout of uh, 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 of, of, of interest by voters in order to, in order to win the seat tonight? We need to see big turnout, number one. And I think we're getting that just anecdotally across the district. It, it does seem like polling places are packed. We had a big early vote and absentee vote compared to pre-pandemic years. And, uh, and we need, obviously, I'm a, as a Democrat, I need Democratic voters to be super enthusiastic about voting this year. Uh, and I need uh, this coalition that I, I feel like we've been building over the last few years uh, among Democrats, independents, and moderate Republicans who may not agree with me on every issue, but they don't like the direction that Trump is taking the Republican Party. I, I need that coalition to hold because you can't win this district with just Democratic votes. You can't win it with just Republican votes either. You've got to be able to appeal across the aisle. And. You, you've you've been in Congress for four years. You've made a lot of friends all over the country. Uh, uh, besides the seventh district, wh- what are you what are you as an American looking at tonight? What's what's at stake? What races are you really paying uh, you know closer attention to than others? Uh, of course, I have very close friends in the House, and I'm just personally interested in in their success. I'm looking at the key Senate races. Uh, we there's not much that uh, we can do uh, even with a democratic majority in the house in the next two years if we don't have a functioning senate it barely functions uh, under the best of circumstances because of the filibuster Mm -hmm. so uh, i'm looking at the pennsylvania race i'm looking at ohio and wisconsin uh, places where we have uh, democratic incumbents uh, georgia arizona etc for the sake of the country I, i just desperately want to see um, Georgia uh, make what I think is the right decision. And I, and I, of course, I'm a Democrat, but this isn't just partisan. I, I just can't believe that uh, that voters anywhere in the United States would, would 
would pick someone like Herschel Walker over um, such a such a good man in in Raphael Warnock. I, I, you know, it's a test of whether quality of candidates still matters in this country, or whether we become completely tribal. And I would be very worried for the future of the country if there are signs across the country that we have become completely tribal, that the people are not crossing party lines when there's such an obvious difference between the quality of the candidates. And, you know, any any last minute pitch to to an undecided voter that's going to watch this interview, uh, why why should they vote for Tom Malinowski? Because I've delivered, because I've kept the promises that I ran on in 2018, um, whether it's infrastructure, health care, lowering prescription drug prices, because I've been present in the community. I talk to voters. I talk to the press. I'm accountable. Uh, and we do constituent service. I do town halls more than any other member of Congress from New Jersey. Uh, and the other side, uh, I think my opponent, uh, Tom Kane, uh, while he's, of course, right to talk about the problems in our economy and inflation, I think he's running on the problem, not the solution. He's not answering basic questions about what he and his party would do uh, if they're entrusted with uh, the power to run the House and, and the Senate. So um, that's, you know, I think anybody undecided is probably thinking about the economy. Uh, we've actually got a plan. We've actually got a record of delivering for people. Uh, and the Republicans right now uh, don't seem to have any plan other than using the problem that we're facing as a country to win power. Well, Congressman Malinowski, I mean, a little little over nine hours left, and we'll, we'll uh, hopefully hopefully this time, one way or the other, know the results tonight. Okay. Uh, it was a long long couple of weeks last time, That's but we'll but, see. but good luck to you, and and uh, and and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you, David. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye.